Welcome to John and Dave TV. I'm John. And I'm Dave. This show is to bring the community back together. We're going through a very hard time right now with everything, the self-isolation and everything else. And we thought maybe we should bring new skills or new hobbies to you in your home that you're able to do with us. So make sure you join us on every episode where you can learn something new every time to try and help get you through this whole staying at home situation. Today on a Dave and John show. It's the John and Dave show. A need, especially in Murphy County, to provide alternative uh, individualized nutrition support to, to the members in our community. And that's what created the spark for the balance program. Hey, John, our week went by. What do we have today on the show? Well, we've had personal trainers on. We uh, Last one, we had somebody on here teaching us how to cook and stay nutrition-wise and keep healthy, try to get rid of our guts. Uh, so I thought we'd go kind of on the same line, but a little bit different and bring uh, one of our local nutritionists and uh, naturopathic medical doctors in here today. So nice. today we've got actually Miss Jane Wood and we got Dr. Cheryl from the Lavely Health Center's Balance Program here. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for being here. Hello. Thanks for having us. Yes, thanks for having us. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about what the Balance Program is and how you guys got involved and started working together like that? Sure. Um, so uh, I'll give you a little background as to how Jane and I met each other. Um, okay. So my background is in dietetics. So um, my training is in what we would consider very traditional um, dietetic training. Where Have either of you seen a dietitian before? No, I should, uh, but I haven't. I have. I'm I'm actually diabetic, so uh, so at the diabetic clinic, I have to go and see a dietitian. So yeah, yeah the one that tell you eat very very small portions and you know follow the you know uh, what is it meat as big as your hand or vegetables as big as your hand. I, I you see how much I really don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we so we all can have an understanding of how uh, dietetics follows kind of a, a standard approach of following Canada's food guide to some degree. And then there's different variations based on specific uh, health conditions that people may have. Okay. Um, so as I was going through my training, by the end of the four-year program, um, as much as I, I love the, the information, love learning about the human body, loved all of that stuff, something just didn't sit right with me at, by the end when I felt like, is this what I have to give to everybody? There's something that just doesn't sit right with me with that. Yeah, um, yeah. So that's kind of what pushed me to go back and do another four years of schooling in naturopathic training was to understand more about this concept of individualized healthcare. So as opposed to looking at you know the population, we look at the individual and look at what would be an optimal way of either treating specific conditions or uh, if we're talking about nutrition, how to eat for that specific individual. Okay. So... Then enter Jane. <laughs> <laughs> the stars aligned and you yeah, met. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And and you were just coming you were coming back into the field at the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So like Cheryl, I also have a degree in dietetics. I um, went to school and actually was um, a registered dietitian. So I felt the same way as Cheryl. I was kind of like the um, black sheep in my class, I always questioned all the prescriptive stuff. I was like, why do we have to do it that way? Why, if someone has one condition, do we have to put them all in the same box and, you know, give them the same things? Like Dave just said, you know, like eat this portion of meat. Like it's just very prescriptive and there's not room for mm -hmm. negotiation for individual needs. And so then I took an, an additional year and a half on to my degree to do an internship program which allowed me to become a licensed dietitian. So um, a dietitian is a protected title. So that means that you know, a person calls themselves a dietitian, that they're registered with a college and with the Canadian Dietetic Association. And um, so I held that for 10 years. Um, originally, I was supposed to be a dietitian in the military. Um, when I joined the military back in the early 2000s, there was a trade that was a dietitian, and that's what I was recruited to do. But by the time I was finished on my training, they started to outsource that trade to civilians. So I basically didn't have a job that was in line with my 
schooling. And so I became a logistics officer and that's, that's what I did for 14 years in the military. Um, but then I met Cheryl. I, um, decided that the military was no longer in alignment with what my life goals were and so decided I wanted to get back to my roots with nutrition was in Petawawa and um, ironically I was just looking to see what kind of options were around I actually pretended to be a client of Cheryl's to see (laughs) (laughs) and um, from there we decided we'd be better as a team than than against each other (laughs) That's how trying want. to spy on her and then you end up working together 100 percent, exactly that's funny we came into alignment our philosophy on uh nutrition is very much um in the same in the same vein and so we started to work together once i joined wobbly and i wasn't there for very long when we realized that there's a need especially in Redford county to provide alternative uh, individualized nutrition support to to the members in our community, and that's what created the spark for the balance program. Mm-hmm. Oh, awesome! Yeah. So this is a program that's offered through OHIP, or is it something that you have to go and subscribe yourself, or what, you know, how can someone get into a program like this? Great question. Um, our program is billed under naturopathic healthcare, which okay. And if you have extended health care, which lots of people in this area have some version of extended uh-huh. health care, then you're able to claim either all or a portion of the program through naturopathic. Oh, nice. mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. Awesome. So yeah. you guys never actually knew each other before Lavalie then. You guys actually met at Lavalie and that's when you started this program. Absolutely. Is it just the two of you when people come in or do you have other people working with you or... Uh, you know, the balance program is something that Cheryl and I created from scratch. So mm-hmm. it's our, our little baby. Um, <laughs> but, um, the Lavely Center is kind of like our brand sponsor. So Shauna and um, the crew at Lavely definitely support and endorse our program and have encouraged us to offer it through the Lavely Health Center. Mm-hmm. Um, and so basically... It's just, um, it's evolved. We're actually, 2020 is our five-year anniversary of the balance program. So that's pretty exciting. And it it really has merged since its initial conception in um, in 2015, where we started with um, a trial in the summer with 17 participants. It was a a 10-week program. And um, it included a lot of different elements, but then um, we decided as our clients have um, individual needs, then we were too, we again were too constricted. So we started expanding upon the service that we provide and it's morphed into a 12 week program right now that is more focused in, in the mindset aspect of mm-hmm. um, you know, health. And, um, and we have an, an alumni group because it was very important that Cheryl and I create a community. Um, that was really important to us because what we really hate seeing from our clients was that they were given some sort of prescriptive plan to follow and then they were given, like, they're kind of like on their own to follow through with it. And so we, we didn't want to have this 12 week program where we gave our clients and then we're like, okay, now off you go and, and, and do it. We like to explain like the 12 week program is just the tip of the iceberg. It's how you practice it and implement it for the rest of your life. That's the hard work. And so we've created an alumni program. And so everyone who's completed the program is now part of the alumni program, which we meet right now during COVID every week. Um, and we're, we're giving our clients different right now we're working on chakra energy balancing. So it's all about um, balance. So that's, that's kind of how our program was conceived. Exactly. We often get, so, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, we often, as we're talking, Jane, we often say in our information session, we give the stats of how many different diets people do on average. <laughs> and we didn't, we never wanted this to be just another kind of notch on your proverbial belt buckle. Like, oh, I did that <laughs> for four weeks and I'm back to where I was before. Like, mm-hmm. vision for, for this program is that it's a program of self-discovery, side effects including things like better health and weight loss and that sort of thing. But at the core piece of the program, 
is this component of self-discovery through different techniques like mindfulness, mindset, nutrition, and these different things. So we really want, as Jane said, this to be the tip of the iceberg, that beginning part that starts your investigation in order to understand yourself, why do we do the things we do, uh, and then we continue that care um, ongoing, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely. We keep talking about the balance program, and I'm just, I'm just not familiar with it. Is the balance program like another weight loss program, or what type of program is it? Yeah, so, uh, so it's it's interesting. Cause we when we first developed it, we saw this need. We both had our individual practices, so people coming in to see us for a variety of different reasons. For some clients, it would be weight loss. For other clients, it would be pain, inflammation, hormonal imbalances. Those are all common things that we would see individually. And for both of us, nutrition is a root kind of um, this foundational component to whatever condition we're working on. So we realized that, you know, we can sit down and chat with someone and say, okay, well, we're going to try out this different dietary approach. Are we gain? People are gain. Okay, well, then how are we going to do it, though? Because it's fine and good. We can sit down and we can both be like, yeah, it's going to be great. But it's what's going to happen after at home. How are you going to do this? Why is this going to be any different than any other time you've tried any type of dietary investigation? So we decided we're going, to, we're going to create a group to do individualized, but together, exploration of nutrition, uh, mindfulness, and general um, health awareness, which seems like a big kind of <laughs> loose concept. Right. So we can get some details on how the program itself works. Yeah, so um, it's really hard to market the balance <laughs> program because it's so much more than just a diet, right? So kind of like our mission statement or our tagline is um, breaking free from dieting. That's, that's, that's our, our tagline because we know that diets don't work and but they work for the short term. So if you're looking for a short term goal to uh, lose weight, to go on a vacation or swimsuit weather or whatever like that, yeah, absolutely. Go on a diet. You will look good and, you know, that feeling that you want to achieve there. But if you're looking for lasting health, if you're looking for like changes that you can instill and just take it from this point and always implement it throughout the rest of your life, then that's what the balance program is. So what it is involved, it's a three-step or three-phase approach. There is a diet component to it, um, which, which, you know, in our world, the world, the word diet just means the way in which one eats. And so we know that because of the highly processed foods that we have, the convenience food, the fast paced life that we live, sometimes these foods creep into our diet that are not really sustaining us or fueling us or, you know, serving us in a, in a good way. And so we have this program here called the Whole30. So Cheryl first presented it to me. I'm, I'm definitely opposed to any sort of dietary regime that eliminates food out of, out of your diet. And so when Cheryl said, let's do the whole 30, I was like, no. So I was You're taking food out of my plate. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're not doing this woo-woo thing. This is not the whole intention. It's the intention is lasting change. And so then I had to educate myself on what actually Whole30 is. And it is in line with principles that Cheryl and I both studied as dietitians. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, in essence, it's an elimination diet. So what happens is there are a number of foods that potentially could create chaos in your body. And so we take those foods out of your body for a period of 30 days. Okay. And in doing that, several things can happen. It resets your hormones, so not your sex hormones, but your diet hormones. So insulin, leptin, gremlin, the ones that are associated with eating. Then it also repairs anything that's um, malfunctioning in your digestive system. So if, if there's some malfunctions like gas, bloating, uh, constipation, we talk about poop a lot. So that's that's something that we want to have a good function system, right? So if sure. that's functioning, right, you're, that's a really good indication if your health is on or off balance. So mm -hmm. um, repairing all of those things, the um, hormones. So Cheryl, uh, in, with naturopathic, we talk about how do we balance those hormones. Metabolism, it then can reset the metabolism. 
-hmm. And then the last thing, which is unique to this program outside of other elimination diets, is that there's no recreation of um, treat foods with the approved foods that are there. So for example, Whole30 is in line with a paleolithic type of diet, and there's such things as paleo brownies. But we're not allowing our clients to make the paleo brownies because we want them to explore why are you going to the brownie in the first place? Mm-hmm. So we take that out, and that also then resets the craving cycle. Mm-hmm. And so during that first phase, we're taking that out of the client's diet but we're also creating an awareness of why you eat the way you currently eat. So we're discovering your triggers, discovering your habits, discovering the emotions that are connected to why we eat the way we do to get insight because um, we create awareness. This program is all about awareness and our mantra kind of like is once you are aware, you can never be unaware. And so Mm -hmm. you can't Mm -hmm. think about what is not working well in your life anymore. You can't just kind of like, play put blinders on and be like I don't know why I feel so sick all the time because you bring that to the forefront because this is why you're not feeling well so that's phase one and then you want to explain phase two so so once we've done phase one we always say at the end of that 30 days we check in and see like how are you feeling so for most people at that point they're they're feeling unbelievably well like at the beginning when we started talking about doing this elimination everyone's like Oh, I'm going to count down the days. It's going to be awful. And then by the end of the days, when we start talking about reintrodu- reintroducing different foods, then we say, I, I feel too good. I don't want to add these things back in. But like we, we're not, a, our vision is not to create a, an elimination diet that people follow, you know, forever and always. What we want to create is awareness for people as to what foods fuel your body versus your body versus your, you know. And so mm-hmm. And we have to do this reintrodu- reintroduction of the different foods. So we then walk everybody through how do we reintroduce different foods. And we're not just hopping right back on to saying we're going to have, you know, a processed piece of white bread. Well, what is wheat? What is all wheat created equal? And we start to bring up these different discussion points as to looking at these grains in their whole form. What would it be like to consume those foods? What are your reactions when you do consume them? And again, once you know, you can't unknow. It doesn't mean you don't choose to have those foods sometimes, mm-hmm. but <laughs> you know, right? Yeah. And so we're able to create um, a more detailed kind of guidebook, if you will, as to saying, okay, if I have this food, this is what happens. If I have this food, this is what happens. And for some people, it takes a little bit longer to see. It's actually, if I have all these foods over a period of time, then things start to come back. But that's the beauty of how unique our, our different body systems are to see the differences there. Very cool. It's, it's so if, if if I want to become healthy and, 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 cha- and change my diet, you know, quickly, I know you said everyone's different, everyone has a different approach, but what is one of the best things that I can start eating and start doing today? <laughs> that sounds like a loaded question there. <laughs> I, I would say what, if I was coming at it from, from a mindfulness perspective, so I, I approach uh, diet from a behavioral perspective, aspect so I want to know why you eat the, eat the way you do so for me it wouldn't be changing anything in your diet it would be creating awareness as to why you eat the way you eat um, so that's that's mm-hmm. how we start our balance program off is the first three weeks we don't change anything in their diet they just record what they're eating and the emotion that's attached to it so Dave, and, we can oh, keep our okay. bacon yeah <laughs> I was gonna mention that also, bacon is also 100% approved on our list. So, All right. <laughs> I think our viewers know from last week that we love our bacon. <laughs> we do too. We do too. Yeah, we could do a job. We could do a shoot with bacon. That would be. That would be. There awesome. you go. Yeah. Well, to exactly. me, it sounds more instead of like some of these yo-yo diets that you see people going on all the time because they go on these programs, like you said, for like 12 weeks. When they're done, they're like okay, I've done it now, I've lost what I need to lose, or I've got myself healthy where I need to, I'm feeling better, and then they go back to the old style again. So basically you're teaching a lifestyle, basically, like a lifestyle change and how to keep going after they see you guys. Now, do you guys do this as one-on-one solo type things, or do you do it in a group setting, or how does that work? Yeah, yeah. so we, we do it as a group mostly. That's our main intention. We know that when you, when you do things like this in a group dynamics, a bunch of things happen one a person shows up more for themselves Mm -hmm. 
with regards to accountability. Two, they show up for each other mm-hmm. and want to be accountable to the members in the group. And three, they're accountable to us because they they have that relationship with us as a coach, client, right? So that practitioner mm-hmm. accountability. Definitely. Plus, we have this big accountability board that we make them sign up for at the end of each class. And so we do it as a group. Now, we've had um, over 100 people go through our program since its conception. And I think we've had maybe less than 10. We've done, we have offered it individually to some people. Um, The compliance rate to our program when we have group, we've had two people drop out of our program since started. The compliance rate from doing it individually, we've only had one person complete it. So that's that's the major difference between doing it in a group scenario. And the other cool thing about doing in group is that when you're one-on-one, we're, you kind of have no choice but to talk to us unless you want to sit in that awkward silence for an hour, right? Mm-hmm. Or we do it as a group, someone can share their experience and someone in the group can relate to that. So someone's learning and experience sharing in the group resonates with someone else. So that person may not share necessarily that much in the group, but there's definitely getting some benefit out of being in the group together. So definitely. Definitely a group scenario, and we do small groups. We don't have, we don't take groups any anywhere bigger than fifteen is the largest group we'll take, because after that we lose the intimacy, we lose yeah. relationship, we lose because these people are doing this thing twelve weeks together. They form these bonds that are like crazy. So Definitely. that community is so important. That yeah, so that's that's how we do it. Small groups frequently when it's non COVID. <laughs> exactly. Well, now that you brought that up, that was my next question, Ashley, because of course, while we're taping this, we're still going through this COVID-19 situation. It's kind of how we started this show up. Um, now we are starting to come out of it a bit. We are starting to open businesses. I'm actually sitting in my studio for the first time in a long time. Cause I've actually been able to open this week. Um, how have you guys had to adapt now with COVID? Cause you can't have them come in now. You can't physically show them stuff or talk to them. Have you went to like zoom classes, Skype classes, things like that. Do you still keep that group together or is it put on hold temporarily or how does that work? Right. Um, well, interestingly, before everything happened with COVID, we were looking towards offering the program online. Um, like Jane mentioned, we, we were offering it to clients who say, if there's a bad snowstorm, you can zoom in and, and catch a meeting uh, if you can make it on site. But there's been interest for different professionals who say want to join the program and only have time during their lunch hour where it's easier to coordinate versus night times are you know such sacred time to have at home and to, to commit to one night a week can be hard for people, right? So mm-hmm. we can at what would it look like to create a balance online? So we put the, the entire program on our website through a um, password protected member portal. Um, so all that stuff is already in the works. And then when COVID happened, they're like, okay, well, we're being forced to, to get this working and get it working really fast. Well. So as we kind of alluded to, our alumni program, so our graduates who have done our 12-week program, we decided to, to support them and to also continue on our process of learning and awareness. Let's have weekly meetings. We've had different topics, and right now we're doing a series, um, but we've been connecting every week that way through Zoom meetings. And so for our fall session, it looks like we're going to be doing it all virtually, which will be wow, uh, awesome. great. Yeah. It will also, you know, allow people who live further away. It, it kind of opens doors in different ways than than you than you thought could happen. Exactly. To. You yeah. can actually reach more people now too, because people that maybe couldn't make it in, or they're from Ottawa or something, an hour and a half away, they're not going to come see you. But now you have that access. You can get people from all over the world maybe doing your program. Good. We hope so. We could. We could. <laughs> <laughs> we excited to get out Redford County first, and then yes. we'll reach for global. Yeah. I always think big. That's why oh I think God. I don't think Jane realized down, the, yeah. the power of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm actually. I think I might have to join this balance program one day because I think I need it myself. I like my brownies. <laughs> that's that's really funny. I'm glad you brought that up because. I don't know about Cheryl, but every time when I'm like in a new group or I'm introducing myself and they ask me what I do and I say I'm a nutritionist, they're like, oh, well, don't look at what I'm eating. And I'm like, <laughs> whatever, you'll see me in the McDonald's drive-thru just like every other human being. Yeah. Um, 
our balance program, the reason why we chose the word balance, which it's a play because it's, it's not achievable. It, it's mm. possible to achieve balance in your life. But yeah. the, the intention is, is to look at when we're out of balance and what steps can we do to bring ourselves more into alignment with how we want to be as an ideal person in this world. So mostly what happens with the, with bad dieting is that if you look at the teeter totter, you are like down and out. And so then you engage this dramatic, drastic change and you shift the pendulum to this way and then it shifts back. That's not what we want to do. We want you to come in like this and we want you to achieve more of this relationship. And then once you start to notice the balance tipping is what kind of skills can you bring back into your life to bring mm -hmm. back into alignment? So it's not to say we would never say because I would never I would never be able to live it. Don't eat your brownies. Don't eat your ice cream. <laughs> it's what we're doing is, is that when you choose to have that brownie, you're enjoying every morsel of it. You're not regretting it. You're not hate working out afterwards. You're not beating no yourself up for it. You chose to eat it. You're eating it mindfully and con consciously. And maybe, you know what, you don't even eat the whole thing because you're enjoying it so much. Your <laughs> old self, could be five brownies in and not realize that you're there. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. That, totally that, makes sense. Yeah. We're not about restricting people who can do that. I like have a lot of admiration for, but that, <laughs> that's never not the norm. Unfortunately, you know, any good thing has to come to an end and you know, time is coming up close to the end, to the end, to the end of the show. And what we've been doing since the start of the show is actually allowing you have time to talk to your customers, your clients, or, or your patients. I don't know how you refer people that visit your, uh, <laughs> your or parts of it in your in your program. Chance to say hi, kind of give them words of encouragement, and say that you're still there for them. And it's just your time. You have maybe like two minutes to wrap up whatever you want to say and say hi to anyone. And let everybody know how they can get a hold of you too, and get in touch with you, and join the balance program. Um, well, hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there in virtual. <laughs> um, as we're working towards opening up uh, the actual physical Lavalley Health Center, um, I know for myself, I this has been a really challenging time. I've been off work since the beginning of all of this, and I'm, you know, I'm really missing that interaction and that really deep connection I have with the clients that I see. So. I'm looking forward to coming back to work in, in July. And I know that Jane and I are both super excited to be launching the Balance program for the fall. So in terms of uh, if you're interested or what we've said kind of resonates with you, check our website. There'll be information on there on our Facebook page. And the clinic is now open, so you can call to get um, information and to get in touch with either of us individually. So, mm -hmm. And... Um, just kind of speaking to that client that feels that they've exhausted all of the ways in which they felt that they could achieve an ideal self. That's really who we're looking at is someone who's willing to be curious and explore what your body is telling you, um, to learn to just kind of approach lifestyle from a different lens than maybe what traditional medicine and the diet industry wants us to look at. So if you want to get in touch with us, like Cheryl said, you can visit us at lavelycenter.com or you can visit our Facebook page at Lavely Health Center. So you can send us a message that way and reach us. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming. I know I had a good time and I learned a lot more myself. I've known you guys for a while, but um, you can always learn something new. And I love how you're out there for the people. It's not just about you guys. It's about your actual clients, the people, getting them in healthy we all need that these days that's for sure so i want to thank you for coming um i appreciate it dave thank you very much for coming and thanks for making this show again to our viewers we'll see you next week so another great guest will be in the studio next week actually awesome guest will be in the studio next week i think it'll be a really good guest.